need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You use the gradient tool to create a gradient fill, which is a gradual blend between multiple colors. There are a few preset gradients that ship with elements, and you can also create your own custom gradients. You create a gradient in an image by clicking and dragging in a selection or a layer. The starting and ending points of the place over which you drag your mouse will impact the gradient appearance, depending on which gradient style you select. To apply a gradient fill, first select the area to which you want to apply the gradient fill. If you do not select anything, then the gradient will be applied to the entire layer currently selected in the Layers panel. Next, click the Gradient Tool button that appears in the toolbox. In the Tool Options bar, use the Gradient Selector drop-down to select which preset gradient you wish to use. You can also click the gradient sample that's displayed in the drop-down or click the edit button to launch the gradient editor where you can create your own custom gradients. We will look at that tool next. Then use the mode drop-down to select which blending mode you want to use for the gradient fill. You can then use the opacity slider to select the transparency of the entire gradient if desired. If you check the reverse checkbox, the order of the colors in the gradient will be reversed. To use a transparency mask for the gradient fill, check the transparency checkbox. To create a smoother gradient with less obvious banding between the colors, check the dither checkbox. Next select which style of gradient you wish to create. Linear gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a straight line. Radial gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a circular pattern. Angle gradient, which shades in a counterclockwise sweep around the starting point. Reflected gradient, which shades symmetric linear gradients on either side of the starting point or diamond gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a diamond shape. Then to apply your gradient, click and drag from the starting point to the ending point of the gradient. If you want to restrict the line drawn to 45 degree angles, hold down the shift key as you click and drag out the starting and ending points. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.